We are back on daytime, and it's no news that we have obesity issues here in the United States. But get this. Two-thirds of all Americans are overweight or obese, and the nation's health care costs are expected to soar due to health-related problems. Dr. Barry Sears, the famed author of The Zone Diet, says we can cure America of obesity and the economic issues associated with it with just a few simple changes. Good to have you here. Thank you very much. All right, let's get the economic issues out of the way right away. Um, you know, obesity is causing a major issue for our country economically. How so? Well, it's not obesity, it's the consequences of obesity, primarily diabetes. That will be the disease that will break the back of our entire health care system. Okay, what is it costing us right now? Right now, close to about $200 billion a year, and that will escalate dramatically in the next five years. $200 billion. And, and some of the things that you're going to recommend uh, can re reduce some of these issues for Americans. Dramatically so. And for America in general. You say just a couple simple changes in our diet can change this because you say just exercising more and eating less food, that's not the cure-all. It's not going to work. Uh, the fact is we have to understand that our obesity epidemic is a lot more complex than those simple solutions. What's causing it is actually basically increased inflammation in our bodies. Hmm. And this is coming not from some microbe, it's coming from our diet. Okay. And once we understand that, say, that becomes now our target. That's where we draw the line in the sand. Right, okay, but, but we know that the diet is an issue, but there's just some things in our diet that we need to change? Two things, and two things which are not spoken to Americans about, really fats. And you say, well, we'll take the fats out of the diet. Say, on the contrary, it's not the fats the problem, it's the balance of the fats. There are ah. two types of fats. They are called omega-6 fats. These are the fats you find in corn oil, soybean oil, safflower. These are the fats that basically turn on these inflammatory genes. Okay. And when they're turned on, these are genes that make you fat and keep you fat. Okay, so everything that we fry or, you know, fry things in or, or Every, cook with outside of olive oil, which is omega-3. No, that's, that's really, has no omega-6 or omega-3. Oh, olive oil doesn't? No. I think a lot of people are under the impression that it does. Exactly. And that it has, by being having neither one, it's okay by doing nothing. Okay. It's the omega-3 fats that are the key that turn off those inflammatory genes. Where do you find those? fish and fish oils. Hmm. And one of the great breakdowns in American health occurred about 50 years ago when parents stopped giving their children fish oil. Wow. Yeah. And, and as a consequence, basically what's happened in the last 50 years, this ratio of inflammation has driven dramatically, has turned on ancient genes that make us fat, keep us fat, and accelerate chronic disease. Okay, so you're saying there's actually dormant genes within us that they can be turned on and make us make us overweight? Exactly. So the goal is now to turn off those genes. Huh. And that's just by eating more or balancing out? Balancing the out. The omega-6s and the omega-3s. Exactly. Huh. Okay, so um, to balance that out, so you're not saying get rid of all your omega-6 oils? Well, I would say, yes, I you would. You would like I, that ultimately. I, I, I'd probably put them where the sun don't shine. Okay. Gotcha. But here's a, a couple of simple hints. Uh, one, take all the vegetable oils out of your pantry and just throw them away. Replace vegetable oils, corn oils, sapphire, you, any of that. You've got them. Okay. Uh, add back things like uh, you know, olive oil. And even a better choice of, than vegetable oils would be butter. Oh. Now, that's You're a proponent of butter. A lot of people aren't. Well, because but it's it, natural. It's natural and basically is not nearly as inflammatory as the omega-6 fats. Ah. Here's the other thing. When you go to the, the supermarket, only shop on the periphery. Okay, now I've heard this before, and obviously, I, well, I think it's come from you. <laughs> obviously, you're preaching that. And that's a great idea. And why is that? Because everything's more natural. It's produce. It's protein. It, it's not processed. All the things in the aisles are processed foods. And uh, the reason why we have so much omega-6 fats in our diet, because processed fats or processed foods have to taste good, and omega-6 fats make them taste good, and they're the cheapest form of calories known to us of uh, mankind today. Okay, what do you say to those people that say, hey, listen, economically, I can't afford to shop in the periphery area, though. It's, it's, it's too expensive for me. You know, uh, I can buy things in bulk and... and you know, and feed my family. What, what do you say to that, real quick? Well, from the easiest aspect is buy frozen vegetables and frozen fruits. They're cheap, they last forever. And that is a great answer. Dr. Barry Sears, thank you so much. He's thank you. Famed author <laughs> of The Zone Diet. We will have a link uh, to his website through daytimeonline.tv. And coming up, more ways to stay healthy and lose weight with personal trainer and author Jillian Michaels. That's just ahead.